But the moving wing still had its advocates. For the first 30 years of the century, they went on trying to make machines which would rise vertically into the air. In 1907, Breguet produced the first helicopter to leave the ground with a pilot aboard. The machine was unstable, but it did prove that the rotating wing aircraft was feasible. these early machines were unstable and for safety the aircraft had to be tethered to the ground. Meanwhile work on helicopters went on. In 1930 Florine showed his machine with a new flapping blade to the public at the Brussels exhibition. In the same year Descanio established the first world helicopter record with a flight of eight and three quarter minutes covering 1,000 yards at a height of 59 feet. He reached a speed of about 15 miles per hour. Six years later, in 1936, the pioneer Breguet came to the front with a much improved design in which the problems of control were tackled with considerable success. Records were established with this machine. Duration, 63 minutes. Altitude, 515 feet. Distance, 27 and one half miles at a speed of 62 miles per hour. Breguet used what is today known as cyclic pitch control. This means that the angle at which a rotor blade meets the air is altered as the blade rotates. Jet-driven rotors have also been developed in America. This experimental single-seater, built by the McDonnell Aircraft Corporation, is called Little Henry. The no hands flying of this Hiller Hornet demonstrates well the great stability of helicopters employing jet-driven rotors. 